guys from Chisinau, Moldova and yes we are finally leaving the city of Chisinau to explore what Moldova has to offer and we are doing it with Moldova to visit. We are super excited because we have seen a lot about this place. It's called Old Orhai, I think. My pronunciation is just not going to get there just yet this early in the morning. Um, and it's about 60 kilometers outside of the city and you're heading towards villages. It's kind of like a archeological and historical complex. There's some old churches, monasteries, caves. There's all sorts of things going on. The views are meant to be unbelievable. So we are heading out of there. We're getting picked up at half past nine this morning. So I haven't got too long to get myself sorted. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited. I think we're also gonna have some good food. I mean, I'm not gonna go too much into the itinerary, but I'm just really pleased that we're able to leave the city, even though we've really enjoyed ourselves, to see the rest of Moldova. So we have met our guide for the day, and it is only about an hour's drive to the village of Old Orhai. The best thing about it here in Chisinau is that it's such a good base for day trips. You can pretty much go to anywhere in the country and do the trip in a day, but I'm excited to head out of the city and into the lush greenery, the hills of Orhai. We have made it to the complex of Old Orhai. It did take about an hour to get here, but we have dropped the car as we have to walk. It is a hike, basically. It, you can't really drive up to access it, and it is just somewhere up there. You can see the monastery, you can see the old caves with the monasteries in the caves, which is just so, so unique. Um, and I don't know how long it's gonna take. I have no clue. It looks pretty far. It's up the hill, so. We're waking up this morning, but it is lovely here. Just look at this, look how beautiful Moldova is. We definitely should have had breakfast. <sighs> yeah, this is this is gonna be a hard hike, I can feel it now. <laughs> but the views are unbelievable. Behind me you have the Rout River, you have the hills, the greenery, it's just peaceful. so peaceful. There's that? nothing. Nothing. Just those little annoying, whatever they are, like cricket type things that Grasshoppers. <laughs> We're actually really lucky as we forgot to have breakfast this morning. Um, we're actually heading to the Bucicemi village first to watch how they make placente, which is the, the pastry, the Moldovan pie, which we've had, which is filled with cheese or potato. Hopefully, if we get to watch it being made, they'll let us have some in the local village house so we can finish our hike up to the monastery. This is such a cool, little local village and again it's just so peaceful because we've come midweek there's hardly any tourists here if you come at the weekend it is really busy so i highly recommend coming in the week of course it wouldn't be a village without some local goats in the corner we're actually <laughs> heading into the butticheni eco resort which is so cool i feel like this area and this village is full of these eco resorts which is sort of like a really natural and local experience um Oh, it looks so nice. I'm, I'm hungry. I hope we do get to That's eat That's what them. I said. I don't oh, know. we're not just making them. If, imagine they just make them and don't feed us. Oh, yeah. Thank you for making them. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, my God. As soon as you walk in, you can literally see them making or prepping the food. And we're going to head into the kitchen and see the proper action. Here, they're just sort of prepping it. They've put the fire on, which is really, really cute. And then you can head down. Oh, my God. The smells can you smell of the that? Mm. It smells it's too good. It's got to be good. a potato one, right? Yeah, potatoes. potato and cheese, hopefully. <laughs> It's actually so interesting how they make the placenta. So you get your bit of dough or your pastry and then they spread it into like the thinnest, It's not really hugest, what I was expecting. Yeah, like it's really thin, like <laughs> it looks like it's almost going to rip. And then fold it, put some cheese, fold again, and then they just start rolling and adding it together to make the layers of the pastry. Are you telling me that you're now going to be able to make it? I can eat it. <laughs> so it turns out we are getting food before completing the hike and we're actually having a full lunch and this is the main dining room here it is amazing it's actually six years old and they've built it in such an amazing traditional way how cool is this it's so so cool i love it big beams big wooden everything's wooden you know how it is in traditional houses but we've actually already seen where they keep a lot of like the com Competes, whatever you say. And a lot of the veg in, a in lot a of cellar. veg in the cellar, um, like a little old brick cellar. It's just really cool. I love things that are traditional. Oh, I can see a full table of food. Okay. Rock. 
we have so much food. We're gonna need this for the hike. I've actually got a sweet compote, which is basically a juice, and it's actually what we saw being stored in the cellar here. Um, yeah, it just smells like juice. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a raspberry or black yeah. currant. Your normal juice at home, we call it like Robinson's it's or natural. squash. It's natural. That's just like extracted from the fruit and veg, which is really nice. And we've got so much to eat. There's so much coming. I am looking forward to this. We have Zama, right? My chicken noodle soup. It's the one thing I don't think we have actually tried. And we have the biggest, freshest homemade bread. I'm just going to get stuck in because I think that's the only way that you can eat soups. Oh my God, it does smell real good. Just all the juices. Mmm. Mmm. It's nice, it just tastes like a chicken noodle soup, which is what it is. So we're sitting here eating our lunch, preparing for the hike, and I saw a sign just over there that says beer Buccene. And I thought, right, surely a tiny village, I don't know what the population is, I presume it's a few hundred, doesn't have its own beer, but they do. They, ha they produce their own draft beer only for the village and they actually make a blonde lager and look at that perfectly poured this is like the most full beer that i've had in North Moldova. <laughs> oh wow that's good it's a little bit hoppy almost tastes a little bit like a craft um it does doesn't it mm -hmm. like a little a blonde but it's a uh, it is apparently a lager it tastes really good it's light as well though isn't it tastes all the better being and look homemade at the color of it. it's perfect not too much i don't like too much froth that's the that's the German thing when you get like the froth that's half your beer. That's I want I want I want to drink more. Narok. Narok. To village beer. Yeah, village beer. I've ne I've never heard of a village beer. <laughs> but now we have and we have more food. We've got the samale which we actually saw being made earlier. Oh my god, look at these. These are the cutest samale I've ever seen. And the fact that I saw her cook, cooking it and making it. And you learned how to cut mamaliga with Oh my god, I know. String. What the hell? I'm now at a village a village lady, but look at these little bite-sized pieces in the sour cream. Mm. It's a lot of rice in that one. That's really? A real good somale. This is what we were waiting for, the plechente. We actually got to see them make it. And look how nicely it comes out. Oh my God, so they rolled up the big sheet, added whatever was inside. I think this, all oh, this is the cheese one. Look it that. definitely wasn't how I expected them to make look it though, was it you? Uh, I didn't uh, expect them to make it like that. It looks really good. Fresh from the wood fired mm. oven mm -hmm. outside. Made in front of me and it comes out, it come out differently. I thought it'd be complete swell, it like how they put yeah. it in. But it comes out like a proper pie. I am so excited because the final dish has come out and it is the placente dessert pumpkin. pumpkin we didn't actually get to try it when we wanted to but to try cherry which was really sour oh my god it is Just so one. oh no it's hot can you see that in one go on mm. it looks like carrot but it's like pumpkin it's just tastes Christmassy. like halloween yeah Christmassy. Christmassy halloween gooey icing sugar and then just pumpkin after an amazing lunch cooked by the ladies of the village. I think it always tastes so much nicer when you can actually see how people cook it. We are now gonna head up to the monastery, see the caves. Um, I'm excited to learn more. These are the reasons why you travel. I'm excited we're finally out of Chisinau and I'm full. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to walk up to the, to the top of the monastery, but honestly, this is just beautiful. Look at this, this tiny little village. So, so peaceful. Hello. Hi. Do you know what way the monastery is? It's not a village without some goats, <laughs> is it? <laughs> the hike wasn't really a hike at all. It only took about five minutes, but just look at these views. You've got the limestone cliffs, and you've actually got some caves that are cut out in these cliffs, but they're like inaccessible, um, and they date back to around the 15th century. Because it was so isolated, lots of Christians used to come to this area, and then in 1821, locals from the village, they actually cut out this tunnel to lead you down through into the cave monasteries like we're literally going through the limestone cliff now this is so cool and really really unusual we are literally in a cave on the right side of the, on the side cliff. of the cliff there's a drop oh my god 
and this is the main altar which is just cr i honestly don't have any words for it it's so unusual you saw the ones in romania but this is like to a whole new level because this is still used sort of as a an everyday thing mm -hmm. this altar is used all the time and it is like the inside of a church except you're in a cave and the chief mom sleeps in it yeah i mean that is today. well maybe i think so there's a bed there oh my god i need to watch my head so just outside of the altar you've got the cells they call it the cells so this is where the monk would sleep and you can see there's 11 like chambers behind me we are literally on the edge of a cliff it's about three foot high i don't know how they got through here they definitely would have got a bad back this is so unique i've never seen anything like this anywhere in the world then you come outside of what would be the altar oh my god watch your feet whoa <laughs> look at this we are literally on the edge of a cliff overlooking the river what how did they design this? How did they get here? <laughs> this is insane. This is seriously one of the most insane places I have ever been We're on the edge of a limestone cliff. Got no barrier, don't worry about that. <laughs> um, overlooking the river, the limestone cliffs in the background, the lush green meadows, and it's we're so next cool. to a monastery that is in a cave. How would you have got here 500 years ago? Honestly, it's too much. If you come to Moldova and see nothing else, you need to come here. The views from up here are seriously insane. When you leave the cave and you walk up to the newer monastery, you'll find this church, or oh, church cross. I don't know if I'm allowed to touch it, but it dates back to the 1800s and it is very old. I don't want to, I need to watch my step, but look at that. So that is literally the view. It is unbelievable. Could you ever get bored of these views? They are incredible. Honestly, I'm mind blown, Moldova. Is really blowing me away. A hidden gem, a complete hidden gem. Look at this scenery. Um, but we are now walking to the newer monastery that's not in a cave, a monastery that most of us, you and me, will recognize. Um, it was actually built in 1904, but was closed during the Soviet Union and then oh, and he fell over a stone. That would not be good on a cliff. And then it uh, was re opened, obviously, after the fall of the Soviet Union in 91 and now houses most of the monks but it is gorgeous it's huge sitting on uh, it's like the middle of a cliff it's like a thin narrow strip of cliff and you've just got this huge great monastery sitting on the top the grounds here are absolutely ugh, we're gonna keep saying it but i just can't believe it they're just so pretty it's so green full of flowers and you have the original bell for the monastery and it actually has bullet holes in it from the war. during the war that's crazy um and obviously they don't use it anymore they have replaced it this one came from moscow it has a different sort of saints and obviously it has writing on it i think the new one does as well they were saying because it isn't really somewhere to make them here moldova the new one also comes from there i can't really see it from here but oh my god it's like, all the it's gold glistening it's the all gold the is <laughs> glistening in my eyes <laughs> Give me some mask. <laughs> and we are back down. I think without all of that food at lunch and fueled by the incredible beer of the village. Honestly, kiss you now. You've got some competition here from the local village. They're actually going to open a brewery, they said, hopefully in the next few years. But we couldn't actually film too much in the newer monastery um, you're not allowed to film inside but it's really beautiful they actually redo the frescoes every five years so the traditional ones aren't there but the location is incredible and we've left our local guide nina who couldn't speak english so it was a good job we were with moldova to visit because without them we wouldn't have known what was going on i don't think you can get too good a signal on your phone out here we are in the middle of nowhere but Honestly, paradise, paradise found in Moldova. Who would have thought it? We've now got about an hour's drive back to Chisinau. It's been a great day, great day all around. Got to see some amazing monasteries. The caves, like they're just over there somewhere. You probably can't see them, but monasteries in a cave, in a limestone cliff. 
and I love that in Moldova health and safety isn't too key so whew, if you want you can go <laughs> you can go right out there and check out them views um, and of course the local beer the great food the eco resort was really nice but yeah I will drive back to Chisinau Thank you.